presents not only with pleasure, but with the greatest of pride, the first of four programs selected from the work of one of America's greatest and best-loved comedians. From Hollywood. The Jack Benny Program. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we bring you the star of our show, Jack Benny, and here he comes! Not the most ridiculous entrance that you have ever seen in your life. You know, the reason we did... Oh, fella, wait, just pardon me. So, fellas, hey, get this thing off of here, will you, please? <laughs> Spooky, isn't it? <laughs> you know, the, the reason we do things like that is because... Well, I can't tell you what a comedian has to go through to try and get that first laugh on television. And it's so important, too. Mr. Benny. I would like to... Telephone call for you. I'm just starting the show now. <laughs> Hello? Hello? Is this Jack Benny? Yes, yes. Jack Benny, who lives at 366 North Camden Drive and appears on television? Yes, I, I'm doing my show right now. Well, we appreciate that, Mr. Benny. But will you uh, be going home immediately after the show? Well, of course I'll be going. Who is this, anyway? This is the United States Treasury Department. <laughs> to me but look I will see you at your house in about an hour but mister <laughs> you hung up that's strange the, the Treasury Department maybe they're coming to I don't know examine my income tax returns or something I don't know, that's the first time that's ever happened to me. Well, I'm not going to worry about it now. I've got a show to do, so... Have with it. Oh, Don! Don! Yeah, I can't understand what those income tax men would want from the... Yes, Jack, yes? What is it? What do you want, Don? <laughs> you called me. <laughs> I, oh, oh, yes, yes, that's right, I did. I did call you. Look, Jack, what's the trouble? What's bothering you? Nothing, nothing is bothering you. Right, all right, Jack, you don't have to tell me, but if something is upsetting you, why don't you go home? Go home? <laughs> How can I go home? We've only been on a few minutes. You know, it's a half-hour show. I still have to do 20 years. I mean, 20... <laughs> Anyway, I don't know, Don. Maybe I, maybe I ought to go home, huh? You mind if I go home? Could you take you take all, all right. the rest of the show, will you? All right, Jack. Huh? Okay. Come The Jack Benny Show, sponsored by. Oh, hello, boss. How come you 
we came home so early from the studio. I left before the show was over. Well, what's the matter? Well, if you must know, I got a call from the Treasury Department. Treasury Department? Yeah, you know, they have charge of income taxes and everything. Income tax? What's that? <laughs> well, Rochester, that's a tax that people have to pay if they earn over $600 a year. You know. Oh! Oh! oh. <laughs> Be glad that you're not involved. In <laughs> anyway, Rochester, believe me, when you get in trouble with the Internal Revenue Department, it can be pretty serious. Yeah, I don't know, they can fine you or put you in prison. I don't blame for being worried. Who's worried? I'm just a little upset, that's all. <laughs> Boss, why don't you let me fix you a little scotch and soda? No, I don't want any Alcatraz. I mean alcohol. <laughs> Just leave me alone, will you? Well, okay. Gee, I can't figure this thing out. Can't understand it. I mean, I never had anything like this happen. Boy, can they be tough, too. Boy, oh, that's the way they got Al Capone. <laughs> Gee, maybe they're coming. I don't know. Oh, for heaven's sake, look at all of these ants crawling around the window. Thousands of ants. I'll fix them. Oh, Rochester. Yes, boss? Have we any poison in the house? Poison? No, 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 no. poison wasn't for me. I wasn't going to take it. It was for the ants. Oh! <laughs> I, I, I wasn't even thinking about those tax men. Income. I mean... <laughs> Rochester, look, they're here. I'll tell you what you do. Why don't you go into the kitchen and fix a nice big tray of food and fruit and everything and Bring it out here, Peter. Maybe they'll give me a break or something, will you? Go ahead and do that. Oh, come in. Come in, Mr. Gentleman. Mr. Benny? Yeah, I'll call him, yeah. No, yes, yes. <laughs> I am. I'm Jack Benny, is it? I'm Ned Miller of the United States Treasury Department. I spoke to you on the phone. Yes. Uh, this is my assistant, Ted Schills. How do you do? How do you do? <laughs> well, come in, gentlemen, and sit down right over here. Make yourself at home. Thank There's you. Nice, comfortable seats right here. Just sit down right over there. That's the idea. <laughs> well! <laughs> now, Mr. Benny. Yes, 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 yes. Now, now Mr. Benny. Yes, yes. Now. Yes. <laughs> Uh, now, Mr. Yeah, Benny, we yeah. uh, usually don't come out on Sunday, but uh, Washington felt that this matter couldn't wait. It couldn't? Look, fellas, why don't you give me a break? I mean, <laughs> if I made a mistake, it, wa it was an honest one. Believe me, it was. I mean, I don't know anything about mathematics. I mean, I, I'm, a, I'm an artist. I'm a violinist. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Benny. And look, and look, I, supposing I did deduct a thousand dollars for medical expenses, I mean, a man my age usually is sick. <laughs> and, the, and, those, and those rides I took to the bank, I mean, they were fun. <laughs> you know, you could, you could write that off as entertainment. <laughs> Mr. Benny, what are you talking about? What? I said, what are you talking about? About my income tax. We're not here to see you about your income tax. <laughs> <laughs> You're not? But you said you were from the 
Treasury Department. Well, that's right, Mr. Benny, but uh, we're not in the income tax division. Uh, we're connected with Fort Knox. Oh, <laughs> oh with Fort Knox. <laughs> Well, you see, Mr. Benny, as you know, Fort Knox is where the government keeps all its gold. Yeah. And naturally, we're constantly striving to improve our methods of security. Oh, naturally, naturally. Well, to make a long story short, Mr. Benny, we've been sent here to ask your permission to see your vault. <laughs> My vault? Yes, we'd like to see what methods of security you've developed. I mean, that's why you're here? That's, that's the only reason that you, that you came here? Certainly. Oh. Hey, boy! Uh, Where should I set this? Uh, take it back to the kitchen. We don't need it. <laughs> <laughs> so you, you gentlemen want to see my vault, huh? Yes. And uh, we were told that you have some very ingenious devices for protecting your money. Well, I uh, must say that I, I have, yes, and most of them are my own ideas. But if you'd like to see my ball, I'll be very happy to show it to you. Just follow me, gentlemen. And you go first right through that door right there. <laughs> No, 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 that's not the way. No. Uh, follow me. Follow me, gentlemen. <laughs> anymore, just, just hang them up here. Oh, thank you. Right. Mr. Benny, yeah. do you mind if we rest for a moment? No, 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 not at all. Sure, rest all you want. Oh, darn it. This thing is leaking again. <laughs> What's leaking, your swimming pool? No, it's that fountain on the corner of Wilshire and Santa Monica. <laughs> of all the things we've passed so far? Yeah, I get everything. Okay, Mr. Benny, let's proceed. Okay, now we just go through here. Follow me. Hello, fellas. I want you to get everything right for that. put in there an automatic thing that if somebody comes down here, gets down here, who doesn't belong, you see, when they open this door, that uh, bulb goes off, you see, and clicks the camera. Gosh. Yeah. So far, I've gotten pictures of two gophers and the Count of Monte Cristo. <laughs> well, that's very clever. Uh, you mean, just now, you took our pictures? Yes. If you'd like any, they're three dollars a dozen. <laughs> uh, but if you sell them to us, Mr. Benny, you'll have to pay tax on the money. Oh, really? No, I won't, Ned. I think we're below the three-mile limit. <laughs> well, now, 
Shall we proceed, gentlemen? Again. <laughs> That's an extra precaution that I've taken. There. Two alligators. Yes, two alligators. I used to have three, but my sponsor's wife wanted a bag for Christmas. <laughs> well, how are we going to get across? Oh, don't worry about that. When I first had this moat build, you know, I was going to make it a toll bridge, and then... <laughs> I figured that was kind of silly, after all, it's only me. <laughs> Just follow me. Just... Down. Down, Jeanette. <laughs> now, uh, Mr. Benny, uh, since we're here to observe, I'd like to ask you a question. Yes? Yes, what is it? Well, now, look, suppose someone does find the entrance to your vault in the, li in the living room, mm -hmm. he descends the stairs, Let's see now, he gets through the minefield, through the poison gas, <laughs> under the flamethrower, and then through that door with the locks, uh -huh. gets across the bridge and survives the alligators, uh -huh. then what's to prevent him from getting in there and getting your money? Does, uh, does that answer your question? Not only answered my question, it sharpened my pencil. <laughs> uh, Mr. Benny, yes. let me ask you something. Yeah. Look, suppose that this device that we've just seen missed the man. Uh -huh. And suppose I were that man. Yeah. Well, what's going to prevent me from proceeding on through the tunnel, yeah. down to where you have your money, picking up all I want, yeah. then continuing out the gate, down the stairs, oh. and grabbing it. That's a favorite plant of mine. I call him Irving. <laughs> Irving, uh, let go. Irving, I said let go. <laughs> Naughty thing, you. <laughs> well, now, gentlemen, I hope that you've uh, gotten enough dope here about my uh, vault to take back to the government. Wait the a minute, Knox. Mr. Bendy. What? Is this all? Is this the end of it? Well, no. Actually, there's one other room, you see, but I can't permit anybody else to come into that room, so you'll just, we'll just have to go back upstairs. Oh, wait a minute. Uh, while I'm here, I, uh, I, I might as well get some money. I'm going to need it anyway. So would you mind waiting right here? Not at all. Okay. Just, hey, Kevin, don't, don't play with the alligators or something. <laughs> too well, Mr. Benny. Lately, the air in here hasn't been too good. <laughs> it makes my eyes water and makes me cough. Oh, well, that's probably the smog that's seeping in down here, you know? Smog? Yes. Yeah, smog. That's a condition they have up there in the air that uh, it's caused from the exhaust of, you know, of automobiles. 
Automobile? Yeah, you see, Ed, we have... Uh, we haven't got, uh, horses anymore, you know, or streetcar. We have automobile. I'll... I'll explain that to you later. But anyway, the smog has gotten to be so serious, you know, the condition that they are thinking very, very, very seriously of, uh, taking it right to Washington, you know? Well, I hope George does something about it. <laughs> See, George isn't with us anymore, but then that's something that I'll also... Bring. Now, I'm going into my ball to get some money because I'm... I'm going to take a girl to the movies tonight. Girl? <laughs> yes, a girl, you know, a member of the opposite sex, you know. Sex? <laughs> I'll have to explain that. I'll have to explain that to you later. Now, I, I'm just going in and take out some money. Okay. Me? I'll take my ether. No, no. No, no, you don't have to. Just sit down and just turn around. See? He's beginning to trust me. <laughs> 45. To the right. Back to 60. And over to 15. And back to 110. There. I just took ten dollars. <laughs> I, I figure I'll be back in about a week, you know. Well, so long, Ed. Oh, uh, Mr. Benny. Yeah? You know, in all the years I've been working down here, I've never had a vacation. Uh -huh. Can I have two weeks off this summer? Two weeks off? Why, where would you like to go? Carlsbad Cavern. <laughs> I'll think about it, and I'll, I'll let you know. Anyway, have a good time, and I'll, I'll be seeing you. Goodbye. Uh, gentlemen, let's go back upstairs, huh? That's right. Right over there. Be careful. Mm -hmm. Well, goodbye, Jeanette. <laughs> So long, Irving. <laughs> staying down there in my vault so many, many years. Well, truthfully, he's very happy down there, and he is very grateful to me. You see, he thinks I'm hiding him from the Redcoats. <laughs> anyway, good night, folks, and I'll be seeing you soon. The Jack Benny Show. A pilot with a dangerous hobby gets his wings clipped by Hawkeye in tonight's comedy on MASH. Right now, stay tuned as Phyllis celebrates her 45th birthday with guest Mary Tyler Moore next.
This has been a J&M production, and this is...